Hey, it's the one and the only Boondong Bear. What are we looking at here in this uh, otherwise beautiful river? This is the Oswegatchie River. This is pollution. This is agricultural pollution as this river flows along a major dairy belt in America that produces uh, lots of cheese and cheese curds, even um, various brands of Italian mozzarella are produced along the banks of this river. This time of year after the snow melt, when the river is very, very high, this, this pollution, this, as you can see, just this foamy suds just come along, along the banks of the river and produce this horrendous level of pollution. I mean, in this otherwise beautiful location, and my town in particular just gets inundated especially this time of year with this foam this pollution mostly from uh, nitrogen and other byproducts uh, agricultural waste and um i wish i could I, I nobody really seems to care or do anything but i've i've researched this issue i've looked at um agricultural websites of uh St. Lawrence University in the area, and yeah, this, this really, shockingly, people, this really is all pollution. Look at how the pollution goes down, and it flows from there on into the St. Lawrence River, which is a major shipping river, and of course the ships, although I, I lo do love the ships in many ways, uh, cause more pollution. You know, I feel like sometimes this is a metaphor for for life that you got something nice and reasonably beautiful like a river like this, but its use for recreational activities is mitigated by the pollution. What do you think, people? Another depressing subject, sorry, but I'm trying to convey reality here. Down there, damn, the foam is just, I mean, thick. You could scoop up buckets of it. It's pretty disgusting. Well, write your comments in the boxes below. You know, I love my people, and I'm trying my best to stay strong. You stay strong, too. I love you.